Hey, 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 it's your girl, Kellia at Black Girl Happy Planner, coming at you this morning, this lovely morning in Alabama, um, with another Planner and Panera uh, episode slash journal, if you will. I think I'm going to start calling these journals, so Planner and Panera journals. So, got my Panera coffee here in my lovely mug. Uh, it's a swig mug uh, from Amazon I got this summer. Um, so, yeah. So just coming at you, um, it's been a minute, so I'm going to try to start doing these a little more normally uh, or regularly. I need, I'm still waking up. Yeah, so um, got my coffee here. Going to take a little swig from the swig. <laughs> mm. Okay, okay. So um, let's just jump in. I wanted to do a planner stack um, video, which I've never done before. So I want to do what I'm currently using during the month of November. Because as you know, if you are in the planner community, you know that we change up planners like we change our clothes. One month it might be this planner over here, next month it might be another planner, who knows. I've been trying to be consistent with the same planners and I think, I think, heading into 2024, I'm gonna finally find planner peace. Which means <clears throat> you found the planner system that works best for you and you just go with it. So. I've been inching, the whole 2023 year, I've been inching closer and closer and closer and closer to finding planner, planner peace. Say that three times fast. Planner peace, planner peace, planner peace. Anywho, oh, shout out to my glasses too. America's Best got me some new glasses because your girl cannot see. <laughs> my sight is getting worse and worse ever since I turned 50. Like the sight is on a struggle, okay? So yeah, so I decided to get some black glasses because every other time I've gotten glasses has been like a color, um, glasses, color, you know. And so I decided, hey, I need to add a pair of prescription black glasses to my repertoire so I can look, you know, professional, you know, and cute. Professional and cute, let's, you know, understand that. So anywho, let's go with the planner lineup I wanted to share. So the first planner I wanted to, um, share with you is this Vera Bradley <clears throat> daily journal or daily planner okay um it's not so much a planner but that it's a daily record of all the things that I do and what I love about this planner is that it has a list of to do things you can do over here but it lists out your daily things as it has breakfast lunch dinner then it also has a place for you to do, write what you did in the morning what you did in the afternoon, and what you did in the evening. Um, and then you can track your water and some other things. But what I like about that is that I, I use this as a tracker more so than a planner. And I track my food, my meals. I track what I did in the morning. Of course, I'm, you know, I'm at school now, sitting in the parking lot, waiting for school to start. However, I do um, do things in between school time. When I get a break, I, I do other things like planning, like reading, like, you know, other things, okay? And so I like to write all those things down that I'm doing. And then I also like to write down the things I'm doing for social fun and um, uh, like TV and, and media intake and all that and reading and things like that. So the Vera Bradley is a place for me to keep track of all that. So that way, when I get ready to go to my other planners, I can update them and, and decorate those planners in a pretty fashion this is a pretty planner this is the second year i've been using this vera bradley system and it's working um so this is and most people use a daily and a weekly in tandem with each other or together um they do the weekly first then do the daily but the daily for me is more of a tracker day to day this is what i'm doing the only thing about this, it does not have a calendar inside. It doesn't have a monthly calendar. So it's just for tracking. Now, what I recently started using during the month of November, um, I've been going back and forth. I love my happy planner. That's my name, Black Girl Happy Planner. Um, that's where I got my name from because my love for the happy planner disc bound system. So recently I went back to a happy planner disc bound system after struggling you know, to try all these other planners. Disc bound is the way to go for me because I can combine multiple types of planners. Recently though, I started using um, a company called Coco Daisy. And what I like about Coco Daisy is that 
they send planners that have already pre-decorated pages. So look at these pages. That's like just one of the blank kind of dashboard pages they give you. But it's already decorated. I don't have to put no stickers on it or none of that. Hey. And then this is the, the monthly calendar page. Again, I've added some stickers and a couple of appointments. But again, the pages are already decorated. And then the inside pages... Um, this is my first spread I did of the first week of um, November in the planner. So look at that. Very nice. Very nice. I did all, you know, a lot of this. And then it has this insert page right here. That's a tear off. You can write a to-do list. You can write, you know, your meals. You can write, you know, things that you're doing. But it was a really lovely, I think, lovely um, layout, you know. And so... I like it because it's, like I said, it's already mostly decorated and I've just added a few different stickers and things. Um, and I ordered the, the disc bound uh, set because then I could, uh, you know, hole punch it myself and put it in my, my disc bound system. And then I also in here have my teacher. I recently switched to use some leftover um, Happy Planner inserts that I had to do my lesson planning um, for the school year. So that is working out well. I also have some checklists in here. And then there's a mini Christmas planner um, that I had ordered uh, a couple years ago that I never really used. And so um, it's a happy planner insert set too. And it lets you plan your menu, your gifts, you know, your cards, your budget, all of that for Christmas. So I'm loving going back to this disc bound carry all, catch all, if you will. Um, also, I'll recommend someone to follow on YouTube, The Organized Money. Her name is Elena. Um, she teaches you how to use multiple planners in one, you know, in one planner. So I, I'm a multiple planner girl. I've, I'll never be like that one planner. So I have this Vera Bradley Daily uh, kind of journal tracker. And then this goes together with this weekly um, uh, Coco Daisy. And it, this allows me to take what I track in the Vera Bradley and then be decorative about it and keep track. Cause this is a memory keeper for me too. Um, where I can keep, just keep track of the things I'm doing, uh, things I'm eating, um, appointments, all those types of things, but in a fun way. And then the last thing I'll talk about is recently I've been getting very much into, let me take a sip, sip of coffee. <laughs> Recently, I've been getting very much into the um, tra traveler's notebooks. I, I discovered those this summer. And Coco Daisy also has a set of um, this cover I purchased myself. That didn't. This did not come with the Coco Daisy, just to let you know. But Coco Daisy has these traveler notebooks that also come pre-kind of decorated, if you will, um, with different sayings different decorations on the pages so that way I don't have to put a whole lot of stickers and things and then you get your weekly pages as well in here um where you can track you know whatever you want to track okay so you get a weekly page uh per week during each month and it comes with this lovely kind of calendar in the front and a little saying about the cozy season um so I'm gonna you know I'm gonna use these monthly um traveler's notebooks to create lists i follow this lady named lail um and she has a website called lail by mail and she does memory keeping just based on lists which i love so if you're a lister a person who likes to make lists and you don't like to do all the scrapbooking traditional scrapbooking and stuff like that you can use a traveler's notebook and follow lail by mail she has a great youtube channel as well as a website that you can get on her mailing list and um and yeah, so that's my goal for the rest of 2023 and going into 2024 is to use these Traveler's Notebooks as mini memory-keeping albums, if you will. And I plan to add some a mini photo album into these for each month. And then that'll just be my record. Because here's the thing, I'm in, into scrapbooking. I'm very much into scrapbooking and memory-keeping. But I don't have the space to keep all these big, gigantic uh, scrapbooks. And so many albums and many books like this help to you know capture small moments as well as digital scrapbooking where you can uh, create 